Beautiful shade trees, running streams, and period buildings. That's what you can find at the Red Clay State Historic Park. Uh, Red Clay is also the site of an historic meeting this weekend. Calvin Sneed joins us now with more on that story. Calvin. Josh Latricia, it's perhaps the most historic meeting in the nation we know as the Cherokee in almost 200 years. Back then, it began with forcing them out of their homes at the point of a gun. 200 years later, it's using their influence at the point of a pen. The Eastern Band of the Cherokee Indian and the Cherokee Nation and United Katoa Band of Cherokee Indians all have a date with destiny. Their tribal chiefs will all meet at their ancestral council grounds at Red Clay in Bradley County. This Friday, all three federally recognized Cherokee tribes will meet and hold council here at Red Clay for the first time since before the removal. That removal in 1838, forever known as the Trail of Tears, saw thousands of Cherokee ripped from their homelands, herded together at Red Clay and forced to Oklahoma. Thousands died along the way. But many hid in the mountains, becoming the Eastern Band. The Cherokee Nation and the United Katoa Band lived in Oklahoma. They resisted, they persisted, and they persevered. And they're still here today, and they're thriving nations, and they're successful. Several reasons the tribal chiefs want to meet at Red Clay. Among them, this area's historic significance to the Cherokee and to educate folks about their culture. They're going to conduct business. They're going to have council meetings. They're going to uh, uh, discuss whatever issues are going on with the nation at this time. It begins on Friday with a ceremonial flag raising that will, for the first time, include the United Kitoa Band. But probably the most important issue the tribal chiefs will talk about, how to use their power to provoke legislative change for their people. Well, history will be made this weekend in Bradley County. That's when three groups of people separated more than 180 years ago all come together for the first time at the one place where they were forced apart. All three bands of the Cherokee Indian Nation will come back home for a tribal meeting. Three tribes of Cherokee Indian, separated during the Trail of Tears, are about to be reunited at the one place where they were separated more than 180 years ago. It's huge, it's enormous, because this will be the first time that they all come back as one nation in their homelands. Visitors are invited to come and join the three bands of Native Americans at their council and learn about the Cherokee. On Friday at Red Clay, there will be birds of prey demonstrations, hikes and tours of the area. At a huge festival on Saturday, There'll be traditional dancing, storytelling, native food, and period dress. Don't plan on seeing what Hollywood has taught you about the Cherokee Indian. They think that all Native Americans wear feather headdresses and, um, and they live in teepees, and that's just not true. Truth be told, the Cherokee wore clothes, lived in houses, and held jobs like being a blacksmith. Breaking stereotypes will also be a focus of legislative change the three tribes will discuss. How the Cherokee proceed is good for us as well as the state. We look at partnering with our communities and the state now, and, and we're part of this United States, and, and we, and we want to work together in today's time. If you'd like to attend the Cherokee Council as a visitor, just click on this story at newschannel9.com and we'll give you directions to the Red Clay State Historic Park.